Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this session, this is a continuation of the previous session. So in the previous session, I have explained you in detail the connection establishment phase. And in this session, I shall be explaining you about the data transfer phase. So now assume in the assume that the client has established the connection. Now the client starts sending the data. So I have taken some sample values here for the data and also one important thing is not just the data range or the data what is sent how many bytes is sent you have to uh, clearly indicate the different flags that has to get set in each of the segments this is the main concept here whenever in uh, explanation for this has to be given in the examination you are going to indicate the flags which are set here and the window size value you can show it any uh, random value fine and also you can show the range of bytes which you want to send as any bytes whichever any numbers you can choose but most important thing is you have to clearly show the indicate the relation between the sequence number chosen in the first segment and then next how it is getting changed in the second segment third segment so on until the complete or data transference then further not only data transference until the connection termination phase ends so now since in the previous session i have explained about this connection establishment now let me show you the data transfer phase now here for the data transfer phase start assuming it here the purple color what i have indicated it starts from here and it ends here starts from here and it ends here that means here i am showing here two different segments and there is one segment here these three segments are related to the data transfer phase now data transfer phase begin from this segment now client starts sending the data uh, client is sending simply 1000 bytes of data so that range is indicated here 8001 to 9000 1000 bytes and what is the sequence number chosen it starts with what sequence number 8001 why as i said previously the client has sent an ack segment which holds what 8001 as the sequence number an ack without data the sequence number whatever is used can be reused okay it means it does not get consumed that's why here it will write the sequence number again as 8001 and the range of bytes is what 8001 to 9000 and hope you remember that the first byte in the segment is always called as the sequence number that's why here sequence number is 8001 and the range of bytes is what 8001 to 9000 and what are the other things that are included here in the segment it is writing ack value as 15001 the reason for 15001 why it is writing ack value 15001 look here from the ack is always an acknowledgement to the server now from the client to the server so the previous segment that was sent from the server was this one in that the server has mentioned the sequence number as 15000 so that that to that particular sequence it has already acknowledged in the ack now the same thing in the data because this is the first data segment getting uh, sent from the server to the uh, from the client to the server now 15001 is what it is trying to right here so you can just relate like this this 15001 this 15001 is what to acknowledgement to this sequence number and it is including 8000 and here you can see uh, ack flag is set because it has got some value acknowledgement psh is set push the data is set pushing the data the concept i have explained in what in the tcp segment so this is how 1000 bytes are sent to the server now client has decided to send another 1000 bytes in the second segment. So this is the first segment I have marked here data segment. Next one more data segment also comes from the client and it goes to the server that also carries 1000 bytes. Okay and since the previous data segment ended at 9000 this data segment will start from 9001 and ends at 10000 because it is it is carrying only how much 1000 bytes and whatever is the first sequence number in the uh, whatever is the byte number in the data segment becomes what the sequence number so it is writing sequence number as 9001 and ack still it will carry the same 15001 as long as because the previous to this pre all these if you look here this one is from client to server this one is from client to server this one is from so previous to these three was the sequence number 15000 so that acknowledgement only it starts writing here so in this segment also it writes what acknowledgement number as 15000 so once again i'll put this with the arrow direction 15001 15001 15001 all these are what acknowledgement to this 15000 and sequence number definitely now hope you people have got to know how to write the sequence number the first byte number in the data segment becomes the 
sequence number. It is writing 9001. Since it has got an acknowledgement value, ACK flag will be sent. Since it is carrying the data, that is pushing the data, PSH flag is set. After this 2000 bytes are sent from the client to the server, the server has decided to send some data and the server is sending 2000 bytes to the client. And that segment is shown here. The server is sending 2000 bytes. And what are the what is the range for these bytes? It starts from 15001 to 17000. Now, if you look here, the sequence number used is what? 15000. Definitely, it has to be what? 15000 only. Because if you see the sequence number that got consumed in this segment during the connection establishment phase from the server side was 15,000. Now, 15,000 cannot be reused. That's the reason now next will be what? 15,001. That's why it is using the sequence number as 15,001 in the data. And it will write the acknowledgement as 10,001. Now, why this acknowledgement 10,001? That acknowledgement is what? Acknowledgement to this data segment. The last byte received okay, by the server is 10,000. The last byte received, if it is here, x, the acknowledgement number will be x plus 1. So, the last byte received is 10,000. So, it will write what the acknowledgement number as 10,001. That means, once it is writing acknowledgement number as 10,001, it also means that next time when you are sending the data or I am expecting in the next segment, the data starting from 10,001. That, that is the meaning here. And since it is having a value of ACK, it will write the ACK value and then it is going to write what 15,001 to 17,000. This is the range of bytes. Okay, this is the range of the bytes. So, this way the data gets transferred here towards the client side. This is how the data transfer takes place and moreover in each of the segment, the receiving window size can also be mentioned by uh, the client or the server. If you see here, uh, the server has mentioned RWND value as 5000. In this client has mentioned the RWND value as 10,000. Once again, if you want, you can mention here also from the server side, what is the RWND value. So, after receiving certain bytes, after sending certain bytes, see receiving window size is what the capacity of bytes which that particular party can receive. After receiving, the receiving window size will get uh, modified. So, that is the reason now suppose in this segment a different value can be mentioned. Whatever was mentioned earlier, if the receiving window size earlier is mentioned as 5000. See, the server has mentioned the receiving window size initially as 5000. Now, uh, the client has sent how much? 2000 bytes. So, the receiving window size will be now 3000. 5000 minus 2000, 3000. Now, the server can advertise to the client that my receiving capacity is only 3000 bytes and that will be filled in which field? RWND. That is the window size. Hope you remember the segment format, the different fields which I have explained. There I have mentioned very clearly the window size which, wherein which indicates what the capacity of the bytes that particular party can receive whether it is client or the server. So, this ends what the data transfer phase. Hope it is clear to you all the data transfer phase. So, in the next uh, session, I shall explain the third phase here. See, the complete uh, process of transferring data involves three phases, establishment, data transfer and then connection termination. So, I shall try explain the connection termination phase in the next session. Hope this session is useful to you all. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.